Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to roll out our first ad. As I always teach, post it on the business page as a normal post first. Okay, and then once we post it here, we want to make sure that everything is, is, is there, like as far as the grammar, no period, no comma, nothing missing. Because once we, once we post it and then we go to the ads manager and set it up, we can no longer edit the text. So making sure that the text is on point right here, right now is, is super important. So following the three bullet points of, of ad copy is what we call the text, ad copy. Um, it's number one, calling out that, that audience, right? Hey, Northern Virginia neighbors. So we're calling out that audience. And then and the number two is telling a story. And, and this story could be anywhere from a paragraph to, to seven paragraphs. Like I've read super long and I learned from online marketers that write freaking stories and there's psychology in that. So when you look at a long ass post, the, the first thing most people think is they're like, damn, dude, who the hell would read all that? <laughs> right. but you're wrong the percentage of people who actually read it those people become indoctrinated in that story right away and wow. those people end up clicking and opting in okay so there's psychology behind story writing and that's that's what makes good ads is telling a story um so here we have a we have a couple paragraphs right i've been doing a lot of thinking about how i can better serve my clients many previous clients have had a lot of questions regarding the seller the seller process um, so I thought, why not create something to answer all these questions ahead of time? My hope is to have you better prepared when you're ready to sell, because a prepared seller is a, is a, is a successful seller. I put together a, a, a thorough seller's guide that's packed with useful inform information if you're considering selling your home. You should definitely check it out. Download your free copy now. or actually, and, then, and then we have the, the, the bottom one. Get your free seller's guide by clicking learn more below. That's, mm -hmm. that's good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, see, so that's perfect. That's perfect. So that's kind of the golden um, 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 template is number one, calling out the audience, number two, the story, and then number three, the call to action. Okay. And so from this point on, and that's why, you know, knowing cost per lead and, and, and trying to find out, okay, how many leads are going to come in? We don't know that yet. Like we're coming mm -hmm. into a new market for the first time. We're rolling out an ad for the first time. Mm -hmm. It's like what we're basing this on is, yeah, homeowners downloading a free seller guide, but from this point on really is, is, is part of the testing. Mm -hmm. So testing is either tweaking up the text on your second add and on and tweaking is testing the images. Okay. So in the future, like on our second ad, for example, what you'll want to do is go out there and take a shitload of pictures, okay. like take a ton of them, take a ton of them. Because as we move forward, what we we'll want to start doing is testing five at a time. Okay. And, and it's not about, it's not about a carousel. It's not about, um, 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 posting a carousel where, where that individual can scroll through and see five different images. It's not setting it up that way. It's setting it up on the back end. It's, it's okay. We run the ad. We put five images in and Facebook determines which is the one that pops. That's awesome. Can we do that with this too? Or do we have to just do the video? Cause I do have some images we could add to this. No, we do just the video in this case. So we're going to do okay. video in this case, but in the future, if you ever want to do images, okay. that's how you would test. Okay. So, so, so when it comes to Facebook ad testing, it's on the image. Um, it's on the text in your case, you're only targeting a local area. So you're not going to be testing on words or testing on interest keywords or anything like that. If you're running ads across the whole entire country, then that would be a part of testing, testing different words. Okay. Uh, but in your case, it's only testing the image and then and then testing or tweaking out the, the text as you move on to other ads. And video is uh, always better. It performs better, right? Than like an image ad. Well, I don't know. That's, that's why a lot of times you got to put your consumer hat on. What do yep. you think? I think so. I think, you know, yeah. I mean, it like just we're feels watching more personal. Walking. It, it feels so good, right? When you see a person in their body language and, yes, like, you know, you can decide whether you even like that person. Cause right? what if you don't even like their voice or you don't like their right? body language? Like there's yes. a bunch of things. Yes. So, so that's why you can capture the audience even, even more by letting them know exactly who the hell you are, mm -hmm. you know, in, in an image. Yeah. I can, I can tell, I can somewhat, you know, um, um, prejudge or pre or, exactly. or stereotype in a way on an image like I can I can look at an image and, and and determine okay cool she looks cool she doesn't like an image says a million a million words as well an image 
yeah, but a video is like on steroids. It's a way video, better. I a, agree. Yeah. And so and that's so, the direction I want to go in. Yeah, think, you got to go primarily. Video. Mm -hmm. You got to Yeah, you got to go video. So did you upload it already? Is it already there? I did. Yep, it's there. Okay, scroll down. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So now let's go to in, in post, go to post. And then what we want to do also is let's make sure it's there. Sometimes it takes a little while. Click on um click on more, the drop down more. Um, right in the middle, more, and then go down to videos. Sometimes it takes a, a few minutes to get there. Um, okay. But this one's fairly a, a shorter video, so it should have came here pretty quick. Let's scroll I'll be down. sure to make it a little yeah. bit longer. Yeah, you want to go. You want to go. You want to go at least double that. Um, okay. at, least, at least a minute would be good. So here's what we want to do real quick before we go into the ad is let's add an actual watch. Go to your open up another tab and go to your news feed. So just um. The regular newsfeed or the news, business yeah, your, one? No, go to your newsfeed. Your just go to your Facebook page. Go to your newsfeed. Okay. So what I want to add real quick is uh, um, go to your newsfeed. Click on the home at the top. So as you scroll down, look for a video. So let's let's look at a video. What we're gonna add is the bottom. Scroll down. That yeah, learn more. Actually, you can you could see it from right there. Not the learn more, not just the learn more, but that bottom to the left, Hub, HubSpot free. Oh, mirror. yeah. Okay. That needs cool. to be added. So go to your other tab, the paid, your page. Yeah. So now let's click on the video and let's edit this real quick. So click on the three dots in the top right Sorry. and let's go to edit. Okay. Yeah. Edit video. So here is where we'll simply add um, oh. a call to action. So scroll, get rid of the blue. Yeah. Scroll down, get rid of the blue. Um, video options click on that one video options and here you can even change the thumbnail so oh that's there, neat there's where the video title would go so download your free seller guide today okay download your free seller guide today all caps or lowercase no, it could be lowercase yeah download your free seller guide today and this has to be short and 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 and, and call to actiony because okay. that's what they see in the bottom left so if you change thumbnail, it will just give you the ability to to look at different different parts of the video, and you can you can so click on change thumbnail, and then scroll down, go down to choose from video, and then oh, here neat. you can just choose you know a different still. Um, I think the one that you had was fine, but if you want, I think that one was good too. Isn't this the beginning one? I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Save that. Save that. Don't even touch it. Save it. Hit the blue one. Okay, cool. You're good. Okay, so that was super important. Hit save and you're good. Okay, cool. So putting it on the business page first is super important. Um, so refresh this page. Let's see if you can if if we can refresh this one. See, so now you have that at the bottom left. Download your free. Oh, that's so okay. cool. Look at right? that. So, that was easy. Okay, cool. So we're good there. So let's go straight into the ad. Okay. Now Let's open up. Um, I think you have that tab open already. Fifty to the left. You can go from that one. Okay, cool. So now it's on the business page, right? That's step one. And then step two, come over here, click the three lines, or go to your bookmark folder or whatever. But so here, click the three lines um, in the top left. Yeah. And Sorry. then go to Ads Manager. No, you're fine. Go to Ads Manager. Yeah. Okay. And then over here, we're going to simply go straight into running the ad. So click on the green one. And this right here, this new conversions, what is that? Let's let's clear this out real quick. X out. I don't know what that is. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Hit the check the box to the left of it and then just delete it. So check the box and hit that trash can. And then um, up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right there. Okay. And then and then delete campaign. Yeah, delete. Maybe that was something we were kind of maybe using it as an example before or something. Yeah, I don't something know. It was perfect. Okay, cool. So now we're going to go straight into it. So hit the hit the green one. And okay. this is your, your business one, right? Hit the drop down at the top S3 decree. This is the, the business account, right? Because yeah, it is. It is. Okay, cool. So hit the green one from here. Okay. And then now we're going conversions. So oh. conversions is is driving people to the thank you page. Driving Got people a lot to the opt-in. Yes, of course. You're, they're going to click on learn more. They go to the opt-in. But the destination mm -hmm. page is a thank you page. So it's mm -hmm. conversions. So down here, you're, you you want to get in the habit of titling titling your um, your three steps. X okay. out real quick. X out of this real quick. 
what okay. we're going to do are these three steps. These are what I call tabs, your campaign tab, your ad set tab, and your ad tab. Do you see those? Those are your three tabs. Yes, I see that. Campaigns, those are the three steps, ad sets, okay? and then ads. That's what we're going through right now. So these are your three tabs. So the first tab is campaign. So as you click on the green one, click on the green one. The first tab campaigns is choosing the campaign, which is going to be conversions, right? Okay. So click it again, click it, click on conversions. Click and then conversions. what we want to do is we want to start to name each tab and we can oh. do that here. So scroll down, hit the drop down right here, and let's get in the habit of naming the three tabs. So okay. campaign tab. And, and the reason why you want to name this is so when you look at the dashboard, you know exactly what ad that was. Okay. If you don't get descriptive here with the titling of each tab, then you'll have that, to. Click yeah, you'll to forget. What that was. You exactly. Won't know what that was. Now, what about here? Account info needed. Do I need to do that? No, leave that okay. one. Okay. Got it. it. Okay. So campaign, the title. This is going to be. Um, either name it by the video or, or, or name it first, first seller guide ad, name it something that you're going to freaking remember what ad that was. So first seller guide video ad, um, first seller guide video. I like um, this one. Yeah. And then, and then in parentheses, the objective. So in parentheses, what did we choose here? We choose, we chose conversions. So in parentheses conversions. So again, when you look at it in the from the dashboard view and you see that title, Mm -hmm. You should know what ad that, that was. That makes so that's sense. That is. Okay. Yep. Now in the ad set, that's where we choose the budget. That's where we choose the targeting. Okay. Um, that's where we choose the placement of the ad. So okay. really the title could just be the area you're targeting. So where, where are we targeting? What's the name? Northern, of the Northern Virginia. Type it in. Nor is, that, is that the name of, an, of the actual city? Or no, or it's more of a demographic. Northern Virginia has tons of little cities in it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go by city. So pick pick a city. Because okay. when you put that city into the map, that it takes you out 15 miles. Oh, so, okay. So put yeah, we want to be super specific and we want to stick with this targeting as well. A lot of people will switch out the targeting. One day they're targeting freaking the, the upper side of the state. Next next week they're targeting the Southern part of the state, like you can do that if that's your, if that's your deal and you're just trying to be everywhere. But in the very beginning, stick with one location. Okay. Like, like let's penetrate Woodbridge. If that's, yep. the, if that's the area, then that that's where we're going in. And we can minimum 15 miles, maximum 50. So if you could just imagine 15 miles out or 20 miles out, that would probably cover every Northern part you're talking about. I think so too. Yeah. Because, right. um, Fairfax is, I want to get into Fairfax and I am pretty sure that Fairfax is less than 15 miles from Woodbridge. Perfect. So again, mm -hmm. you can go whatever you want, 15, 20, 25 miles, but oh, whatever cool. it is, we're going to stick with one. Okay. So that so, sounds good. And, and yeah, I think we should at least do 20 miles because Fairfax is about perfect. 20 miles away. Okay. So Woodbridge 20, put Woodbridge 20 MI. And again, this is just a simple description of what, what, of what this is. So when we awesome. look at this tab, we know that was Woodbridge, that was 20 miles. And, and, the, and that's all we gotta do is look at the tab or yeah, look okay. at the, of the tab. And then the third one, the third one can just be the, 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 the same name as the top. Okay. Add, or yeah, or you can even get descriptive about that video. You know, I was in a home, empty home or whatever, like whatever is gonna allow you to remember what video that was. Okay. That's, that's kind of it, it, what we're trying to get at here. Because if you just put first seller guide video ad, okay, cool. It is the first ad, but which video was that, mm -hmm. right? Like, was I in a vacant home? Was I at my home? Like, what video was that? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So vacant home, perfect, perfect. And then continue. Okay, that's that is that's the beginning of step one. Now, the last part of step one, which is the which is campaign tab number one, is this part, the special ad category. So you always have to go housing. So hit the drop down categories and go housing. Okay, cool. And then next, that's it. That's step one. That's tab one. That's it. Now we come okay. to step number two. And step number two is where we, where, we, where we make sure that website's filled in. So that's blue dot right there, website. We make sure our pixel is right there at the bottom. So let's, go, let's scroll down. Pixel. We make sure that the conversion event, that's the link for our seller guide thank you page. 
right? That's what okay. you named your custom yep. conversion. You I remember custom, that seller guide leads. The seller guide leads. You name that your custom audience and you name that your custom conversion. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember, but that's the name of it. You custom, we, that's what we named it, right? Yep. So, seller guide leads. I, I, do you, should, guide. should I confirm that? Should I go back and double check? No, not at all. It's right there. Okay. That's okay. exactly what it is. That's, that's okay, it. Cool. If you X out of it though, X out to the right, sometimes as you get to the second step, we're in the second tab. That's where we're at right now. Sometimes when you get here, it's blank. So exit out. Sometimes it'll look like this blank. So if that's the case, just click, go through the drop down and find your custom conversion, which is that one, right? Got it. So got it. That's that budget. And this is how you want to look at the budget, as I was trying to kind of trying to explain yesterday in, in the voice message, where it's like, you got to, and that's what I'm trying to tell you, T, like when it comes to, to your marketing, mm -hmm. like there's stuff that you're going to do offline that mm -hmm. that's cool. But, but really I would call that 1%. So if mm -hmm. you're doing these events, if you're doing flyers, if you're door knocking, if you're putting out direct mail, whatever the hell advertisement you're doing offline, I would literally make that 1%. Okay. 99% of my marketing budget should be going into Facebook advertising. That's just me. Yeah. Like, that's just my professional opinion. Yep. I like, agree. I not be spending money on anything offline anymore because whatever I'm spending offline, direct mail, door knocking, a local event, I could have just ran a video ad and targeted that local area, had them click, came over to my webpage and captured the lead. Yep. Like, why the hell do I need to send out 3000 direct mail pieces? I like, agree. For what? Like, what the hell? Like, hell no. Like, I'll speak to some of my clients. Like, hey, I just dropped three grand on freaking 7,000 pieces of direct mail and it's going to these two damn zip codes. I'm like, seven grand? Like, what the hell yeah. are you thinking? Like, yeah, some some people are still kind of stuck in the dark ages. 700 yeah. and, and, it had, and had 70,000 people in these two zip codes see your freaking ad, click on your <laughs> and you would have captured the lead. <laughs> but you got seven, you got 7,000 direct mail pieces going out. Like what the hell? Like, yeah. So that obviously sounds super biased. Cause I'm a Facebook ad guy over here, but if it was something else, I'd be selling you something else. Like it is what it is. Like, this is where the attention is, is at. I'm targeting a yeah. local area. I can get in, into everybody's newsfeed and, 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 and at a, and at a fraction of what, what's going to, what, what I'm going to spend on anything else. Yep. I agree. And it just right? makes sense. Oh. It does make sense. I agree with this. So, so when it comes to the budget, it, it really comes down to having X amount per month, whether, whether it's 200, 300, 400, whatever, like, and, and you want to break that down per day. So if a person was spending five bucks a day, okay, well, that's 150 a month, 10 bucks a day, there's 300 a month. And so you want to kind of break it down that way where you kind of need to be around 10 bucks minimum per day. Okay. And that's, that's in the beginning. So if I have 300, okay, cool. 300 month, number one. And then as we start to capture leads, as Keep we start going. to close, yep. you scale up, but yep. even you scale up the most you'll ever really need to scale up because again, we're targeting a local area. So, so, so I'm going to, I'm going to be able to penetrate this local area over and over and over mm -hmm. and I can do it by not having to scale up so much. So for example, I'm saying start at 10 bucks a day. And eventually as we really start to gain traction, I really believe the highest you'll ever be at when you're even at scale, because we're targeting a local area is probably 20 bucks a day, which is 600 a month. Okay. So it's like, yeah. dude, like that's, that makes sense eventually down the line, but it's like, dude, again, that's why I look at this a little different. Like if I was in real estate and I'm making, let's just call it five grand per deal. I'd be spending five grand a month on this T. Right. Like I, it, I don't right? understand why anybody's not doing this. I don't, I don't get it. I don't it. get it either. Like you guys, <laughs> you guys are considered high ticket sales. Now, yeah, know. you don't get a deal every week, but you do get a deal. Let's just call it every month. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying drop it all in, but even if a person, let's say, for example, even if a person dropped it all in and you were spending 5,000 a month on Facebook ads, okay, mm -hmm. cool. Get one deal and you broke even. Yep. I need you to go into real I estate, David. I just like, seriously, no. side note, I need you to get your real right. estate uh, license. That's what every agent tells me, man. Like everyone. I'm like, so especially, serious. Especially EXP. Like I have so many EXP clients that are telling me that. I like, need you to get like, your license. Because, <laughs> but that's how you look at advertising, whether it's yeah. real estate or anything else. You, you, we could be selling, we could be selling necklaces on a website online. And it's yeah. all the same. How much are we selling the necklace for? 
25 bucks. Okay. Well then shit, exactly. if I spend 25 bucks a day. So I'm over here telling you $10 a day for a freaking real estate transaction. If I was selling necklaces and each one was 25 bucks, me personally, because I understand these numbers, I would still be spending 25 bucks a day. Right. Because if right. I sold one damn necklace, at least I it did. was worth it. You broke even at least. Yeah, yes, man. Completely agreed. But, but people do in real estate that. making thousands per deal are still barking at spending 10 bucks a day. And it's like, dude, really? Like yeah. you're making a shitload. Like how I fail to understand it in this, but this is also the reason why they are not consistent. And I yeah. don't want to build a business that's inconsistent. I want to yes, build man. a business that has consistent flow of business and we're scaling up Yes, and, and this is the way to do it. Like marketing is number one. Stay, stay with a, a number and, and just, and, 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 and yeah, okay. stick with it. Like stick with whatever that monthly number is. So in this case, so the reason why I went on that tantrum is because right here, <laughs> daily budget, hit the drop down, go to lifetime budget. Um, and then, and then yeah, go to lifetime budget and then whatever that monthly budget is, we're going to, we're going to break it in two. We're going to divide it by two. So okay. So let's just plan on running two ads this month. Okay. Um, so whatever that overall monthly is, what is it? 300? What is it? 400? Like what could for the next 30 days? What We're going to stick with 300 for now. Okay. So then drop this to 150. So you're dividing it by two. So Got it. let this run start date. It's always the next day at 6 a.m. So in your case, this is Pacific time. So go ahead and go with... Um, what is that? 9, 9 a.m. Go actually, no, no, it actually be, it actually be, it actually be 3 a.m. because it's Pacific time. So go 3 a.m. So it's always April. It's always the next day at, at 3 a.m. in your case, because that's the, the time zone that this is at. So, so this will be 6 a.m. your time. And that's when the ad will go out. So, so let it run. So let it run for half the month, 15 days. So go from okay. April 1st to the 15th or April 1st to the 16th. Um, and then, and then what I like to do is always chat before it ends. So we'll chat on the 15th or the 14th. Nice to see uh, how it performed. Yeah. To see how it's going. That's good. Um, so same end time. So ended at the same time. So here on the second tab on the second step, we're choosing the budget. We made sure that our custom conversion was there. We're, we're scrolling down. We're going to change out the location. So edit United States, scroll down, edit United States, click on the, the edit. So right here, hover over United States. Okay. No, to the left. What am United I going to say? We're going there we to, go. Yes, okay, there edit. we go. Mm -hmm. So take, scroll down, scroll down, and then take away the United States and put in that location. So Wood, Woodbridge, you're exit saying. Out, exit out, exit out the United States and type in Woodbridge. Okay, cool. And go people living in this location. So hit the drop down people living in this location. And then and then search. No, hit it again. Hit the drop down. Sorry. People living in this location. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. And then and then type in Woodbridge. And then always go with the drop down. So you're always going with the drop down. So wait until you see that drop down. And so you can go 15 miles, you can go 20, whatever. Um but whatever you go with, that's the targeting. Stick with that targeting. Don't okay. push it out next. Don't next deviate. Time. Yeah, don't deviate. Like we want. I'll do twenty five. We want to penetrate this local area. Hit enter. Oops, my bad. Yeah, put type Sorry. in. And just hit enter, and then this will just show you, you know, how far. It's yep, that's out. perfect. So, yeah, that so is that's your perfect. Location. Right that's into Stafford. So scroll Excellent. down. So now let's, 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 let's keep it moving. We'll go down and we'll go, you cannot change age. You cannot change gender. Um, scroll down, add number two and on that's where our custom audiences will, will go, but we don't have okay. any now. For, so we're fine right here. We're going to go manual placement. We're going to take it away to, up, out of automatic automatic is when Facebook scroll down. Let's look at all this stuff below. Automatic is when Facebook places the ad everywhere. Right. Oh, wow. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. There's so many different placements within the app, like within Facebook. When we're watching different videos, there's all ads coming from all over every direction on Facebook. And okay. we don't even realize it most of the time. Um, now, in this case, what I like to do is I like to kind of put my consumer hat on. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as I put my consumer hat on, where do I spend the most time? Where do I scroll the most? What, where is my attention going when I'm on the platform, whether I'm on a desktop, whether I'm on my cell phone? What am I doing on Facebook? 
Mm -hmm. 99% of the time I'm scrolling through the news feed, seeing whatever, all the shit people are talking. That's yeah. all I'm, I'm not looking at <laughs> now. I'm not looking in the marketplace, searching for shoes. I'm not doing any of those other placements. So, That's true. Right. So here, what I like to do is just narrow in, especially if the budget is small in the beginning, mm -hmm. I need every penny to go to, to the count. highest yeah. attention, attention, attention piece of, of, of property freaking there. And that's the newsfeed. Yep. So uncheck Instagram, uncheck messenger, uncheck audience network. We're going to only leave Facebook, but then we're going to scroll down and we're going to uncheck. Let's leave the newsfeed. Let's leave the marketplace, uncheck everything else. So just go straight down, uncheck everything else, uncheck, uncheck, keep going, keep going, uncheck everything. So we're going to only have it in the newsfeed, only have it in the marketplace. Because yeah, even though I may not be in the marketplace, people are in the marketplace buying shit every day and, and, and my ad could be there as well. That's cool. That is true. Yeah, I like that. Right. So scroll down, scroll down, uncheck, and then um, and then that's it. So so here, um, step number two, tab number two. We chose the budget, we chose the location, we chose the placement. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now we hit next, and then we go to the third and final step. So over here, this is where we would choose the ad so we can okay. either create one from scratch or we can use existing post so hit the okay. drop down ad setup so hit that drop down create ad scroll down scroll down scroll down okay ad. i see and, and then don't worry about this error over here no just ignore it okay just drop down create ad go to use existing post okay and then select post i was wondering how we were going to get that information cool so there it is that post and then continue so click on it and then hit continue and there is that post so now what we have to do is scroll down scroll down and then you want to add a button so click on oh, add a button. that's right that's right and then grab your link from kartra and just paste in that link right there perfect so get coder link copy this link get the page link copy that link and then um paste it in over there. That's it. Oops. Where was I? Oop. Okay. Okay. So paste in that link, update post, scroll down, look at the tracking, make sure that our website is there. Uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We got tracking. So there's the website events. There's the pixel. Okay. And we're good. So now hit publish and that's it T that's it. Now wow. that's the whole entire ad setup. Now here's the thing about video. Here's the thing mm -hmm. about video. As you start to put out video, the, step one was posting on the business page. Okay. Step two was coming over here and going through the ad setup. Mm -hmm. Step three is creating the custom audience around the video. Okay. That's what we need to do next. So now sometimes I see this happen all the time where it gets stuck like this, right? Mm. You're stuck at 24%. You're stuck publishing one of three. You're stuck. So what you do is you open up another tab, go back to the ads manager. Yeah, from here, that's fine. Go to the ads manager. So go to your bookmarks or whatever. Um, yeah, so ads manager. And, and what you'll do is you'll push it through from over here. So okay. top, you'll see the blue button. Those are your, the number three is, 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 is referencing the three tabs. So okay. click on that, click on the green publish. And then that will push it through. So now close out that other tab that's at the top to the left. This yeah, one right here. Yeah, close out that one. Just close it out. Okay, cool. So okay. work out of this other one. Leave. Yeah, leave. Let's work out of this one. So now everything is set up and, and nice. everything is ready to go. Now, one thing we want to do real quick, the last part is set up the audience. So click the three lines to the top left and go to audiences. And so now... What we're going to do is we're going to create an audience around those who watch a percentage of that video. Now, 33 seconds, you'll want to, so let's hit the blue button, create, create audience, and then custom audience. This is what you were talking about. Now so, it's all coming together. <laughs> so video, go with video and then hit next. Okay. So now what we'll want to do is engagement, hit the drop down. So if it's a 33 second video, Mm -hmm. maybe those who watch it for 15 seconds, mm -hmm. those who watch half of it mm -hmm. would be, would be good to retarget. 
I agree. So now click on choose videos right in the top right and then find that video. So you're in this other business page, go to your business page and you'll see that video. So check that box, hit confirm, and then give it a name. So audience name, change out the retention as well. Let's go with, um, I would go with, I would probably go with maybe 30 days, maybe 30 days the most. Anyone who's watched this video in the past 30 days, put them in this audience. Mm -hmm. um, or you can go a little longer, really. Maybe go 60, let's go 60. Let's okay. go 60 days on the retention. Okay. And then, and then audience name, be super specific and, and descriptive of which video this was. Okay. So just like we did on the titling of the tabs, um, vacant home, perfect. Vacant home, vacant home, first seller guide ad or something like that. Vacant home, vacant home video, and then first seller guide ad. Perfect. Perfect. Vacant home video, vacant home video, super descriptive. So create audience and that's it. Cool. So now you have the ad setup hit done. You have the ad setup ready to go live tomorrow. You'll get an email in the next few hours from Facebook. Um, Sweet. And then, and then you have the custom audience on the back end being built as well. Go back to ads manager. Um, now let's just take a, take a quick look at what it looks like in the newsfeed as it goes live. So check the box to the left of first seller guide, check that box and then hit the tab to the right. The third tab ads for one campaign, go to that tab. So this one right here. Nope. The third tab to the right. So these are the three tabs, click on the third one. And then right below the title, you got vacant home locky or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Click edit. So right below the title, click edit. And then this right here would just bring us back into it. But what we want to do is simply hit the drop down the share button at the top, right? Hit that drop down share. This one. No, a little lower share. Sorry. Yep. And then go down to Facebook desktop newsfeed. Facebook desktop newsfeed. Okay. And now this will just give us a view of what that ad's going to look like. So nice. as scroll down, so if you go below Anthony, it'll be right below Anthony. So scroll down, scroll down, and boom, there goes your ad. Oh, so that's neat. Click on learn more. Make sure it takes you to your, to your Sorry, cart. you hear that? He has a friend. I'm telling you, your son has a friend. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> there it is there. So neat. That's so that's cool. That's it, man. That's that's it. So everything is is set up. Yay! There and you're good to go. So I'm stoked. Yeah. So from this point on, really, what you want to do is just is really allocate that that time per week, whether it's whether it's to write the nurture emails, right? Yes, to to continue yep. to that sequence. Yes, like thirty okay. minutes a week, one hour a week is what I do. I'll put it put together one hour a week. Yep, I have it on my calendar. Week. For sure. Yeah. And then uh -huh. how can I check to make sure that I've linked my, my business card? Just go to billing, go to billing. Like this. And we have the bookmark as well. So the bookmark, go to your bookmark, go to your bookmark. So oh, that's right. That bookmark should be billing. So if you go to, yeah, it should be, right. that should take you straight into the payment setting. Payment set. Okay, cool. Yes. That's, that's, cool. That's good. Excellent. And, and I can change this anytime I want, right? If I yeah, want to. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Um, in the very, very beginning, which, which is really your first, yeah, your first ad, maybe your, maybe your second ad mm -hmm. in the very, very beginning, Facebook will charge that card. Like every, every two bucks, like okay. every $2. And then, and then it'll, it'll, it'll increase it to like every five bucks. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then you'll have one billing date per week. I mean, excuse cool. me per month. That's so cool. So awesome. Super important to always make sure there's a Milo good inside voice, buddy. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all good. So let this one run. If there's anything else you need on the cartridge site, hit me up for sure, but let this one run. Don't even pay attention to it. What you want to okay. pay attention to is the cartridge site. So go to, go to Karcher real quick, clean up, clean up that list. If needed, take out your emails, go to Karcher real quick, go to my communications. Okay, let's see. Kartra. So so X this out, my communications, click on list at the top, and then just clean out this list. So oh, yeah, that's right. So we have a fresh lead list. So just that's take right. out your emails because you might be all up in that email. You mean leads or no list? Or list. Let's list. go down to that list, seller guide list. Oh, that's down, right. Down, that's down. right. Down, yeah, down. So so okay, so there's only one lead. So that one lead on the list, click on the number one. So that should be you then. 
Yes, yeah, so that's 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 that. There's that email. You can leave it. You can leave it if you want to be in there to really experience your own sequences. That's really cool too. Is okay. Yeah, you know, I definitely do. I want to yeah, see how it goes. Experience those. Um, experience those emails. I think I got an email from myself today. In fact, and I was like, "Oh, look at that! That's a nurture email." Yeah. See. So yeah. <laughs> that's from the sequence. In that's fact, so click cool. on the name. Click on your name. Click on your name. <laughs> oh my log. god! It's me. Click on log. And you'll see it right here. So click on. Oh log my gosh! And you'll see which email. That's so cool. So, see, so now this is a whole new view I haven't seen yet. This cool. so email sent calendar confirmation. Scroll down. Scroll down. So look at the whole list. So, so calendar visit, calendar cancellation, email sent, call con calendar confirmation. Um, look, open email. So yeah, that email was sent. Why you should sell this this spring? Yep, that's the one I got today. Yeah. See, so it shows it shows that it was sent. At two thirty-seven, it was opened at three o'clock. That's right? so, so this, cool. This is and this is real time. You can. This is all tracked in real time. Where do you see the two thirty-seven when it was sent? Where are you seeing down that? email sent? So just go down, like it's. Oh, it's right here, I see it. Yep, got it. Yeah, so, okay. So oh my gosh, that's so cool. I would track the leads on on this side. I wouldn't necessarily track it on the Facebook side because Facebook sometimes doesn't even update that list for some whatever reason. Okay. So the Karcher side, this is all real time and what lead comes in is what lead comes in. You know what I mean? So Neat. I would, I would track it on the Karcher side for sure. Okay. Uh, and yeah, so let's, let's let this one play out and let's chat How uh, fun. day before it ends to, okay. to determine whether we should leave it on or, or shut it off. Um, okay. Now, one thing you want to always, always keep in mind as well, like is to always have that next ad going. So if we talk on the let's say it ends on the 15th and we talk on the 14th. If we do need to roll out, roll out the next ad, because this one just didn't perform as, as well as we thought you want to have that next ad ready. Okay. Like you want to have that next ad ready. So what I would do if, if I is I'd get in the habit of making a new video every okay. two weeks. Okay. I can do that. Like regardless, this, this, this one ad may pop and, and we, we, we may not need to roll out that next one. But to have it in the arsenal, have it freaking yep. ready and, 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 and locked and loaded, that's yeah, totally going to save you time. Do you think I should still, since sellers are my target, I should still continue with similar messaging, but oh, just yeah. maybe a different approach, maybe yeah, a different yeah. environment? Okay. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Like walk out, like go outside, walk around, like go to your neighborhood and just, and just do selfie style as you're talking on the phone. Yep. The video. Yes. Like change it up. Okay. You don't want the, you don't want the, 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 in the home sitting, boring, still like this one's cool for our first one. But as we move forward, what tends to grab people's attention is when there's shit moving in the background. Okay. That's why you'll see a lot of videos where people are doing videos in their car. The car is freaking moving or yeah. they're doing videos holding the phone and they're walking down a neighborhood. Like there's movement. That's what makes people okay. stop in the newsfeed. Cool. Is because All right, there's, cool. there's action going on and people are curious to see what the hell's in the background. You know, it's that type of attention grabbing. So yeah, so switch it out with the videos. Um, but but what I'm saying is, is is have the next one ready. Like have the next one ready. Um, you don't necessarily need all the text and everything perfect, but it, but but the piece of the, the actual content, the video, have that one ready. I will. And, Definitely. And, and another thing is too, is is having using using your seller guide. So if anything, here's something you may want to do in the future. Go to go to go to one of these fancy, you know print shops, a Staples, a FedEx, a Kinko's, whatever you guys got out there mm -hmm. and, and go get a color copy of your PDF. And then like hold it up in the start video. Using that as a prop. Yeah. Start using Oh that. my gosh. That's hey, so guys, good. Hey, let me tell you about my seller guide on page. I, three, I do like that. That's fun. I'm going to do three, that. Here's what I put out. Right. Yeah. And I like that video and, and I'm getting people, Hey, click, learn more. I, I'd love to give you this free copy. Right. So using that as, as a, using that as a prop I do and, like and, that. And, 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 and creating the video around page seven. Okay. Hey guys, this Tamara, I want to do a quick video. I'll let you know what's on page seven on page seven. I'm talking about, right. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm trying to get you to, 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 to visualize your emails like that as well, but even a video that would freaking work for a video too. Love it. I love it. I'm definitely going to do that. That's creative so, and fun. I yes, definitely want to get yes, fun with these. Yes. Yes. So, so, awesome. so again, like this is the ad site targeting this local area, Woodbridge, but also on the other hand, for all your organic shit that you're going to put out, regardless, everything should be based around the seller guide. 
So as you go and shake your ass on TikTok, as you go put, <laughs> in, as you go put out a freaking Instagram freaking story or whatever, lead everything. Hey guys, and by the way, I put you. <laughs> Colors guide. I'm making a casserole tonight. By the way, did you download my? By the way, hey, (laughs) click the link below. Go download my shit. Like, yes, man. This applies for organic as well. Okay, this applies for organic as well. Every freaking piece of content that Tamara puts out from this point forward, if it's not not agent attraction, it's freaking download my shit right now. Follow my seller guy. <laughs> that is awesome. You know what? Seriously, so, I'm gonna eat, sleep, and breathe this seller's guide. Yes, I'm not even yes, playing. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, and right when you wake up, it's next to you. Do a video. Okay. Hey guys, I'm just waking up. <laughs> I'm just waking up. Let me freaking tell you. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. I can't uh, even right now. <laughs> I I can't. I can't. I literally have tears coming out of my eyes. So have fun with it. <laughs> I'll be a message away. Okay. Let this one play out. Don't worry about oh the numbers. Oh my gosh, I'm David, I'm dying. We're just getting started. Okay. okay. If you start seeing this stuff from me, you better not laugh. <laughs> hey, I just no, changed the pull it. up. By the way, did you tell my seller's guy? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it. I promise. I'm okay. going to push it. I promise you. I will. <laughs> Take care. Okay, bye. Be blessed. Bye.